Hafez, whose given name was Kawaid Shams ad Din, Muhammad Hafez e Shirazi, is often referred to simply as Hafez. The world of literature has been forever changed by the well known Persian poet. His deep devotion to spirituality and his profound understanding of human emotions shine through his poetry. Born in Shiraz, Iran, in the 14th century, Hafez's lyrical verses continue to captivate readers to this day. His words have the power to transport readers into a realm of passion and longing, connecting them intimately with the universal experiences of love and desire. His verses often speak of the ecstatic joys and agonizing sorrows that accompany matters of the heart. Hafez's poetry reflects his deep spiritual connection as he effortlessly blends the earthly and the divine, inviting readers to explore the depths of their own souls. Beyond his exquisite poetry, Hafez contributed to Sufism immensely. Sufism emphasizes the direct experience of the divine and the concept of union with the divine essence, encouraging individuals to embark on a spiritual journey seeking to transcend the limitations of the material world and attain a higher state of consciousness. Sufis often engage in practices such as meditation, chanting and whirling, and contemplation to facilitate this spiritual transformation. Through his poetry, Hafez delved into the depths of human emotions and offered profound insights into the nature of existence, guiding readers on a transformative journey of self-discovery. Like his countryman, the legendary Rumi, Hafez also uses vivid imagery, metaphors, and allegories to convey profound spiritual truths, inviting readers to embark on their own spiritual journey. What do sad people have in common? It seems they have all built a shrine to the past and often go there, and do a strange wail and worship. What is the beginning of happiness? It is to stop being so religious like that. Hafez According to Hafez, sad people have something in common. They have all built a shrine to the past. This can be seen as a metaphorical representation of how sad people tend to dwell on past experience, holding onto memories, and emotions that hinder their ability to move forward. By building a shrine, they are essentially creating a place of worship for their past, constantly revisiting it and lamenting over what has been lost. The act of going to this shrine and performing a strange wail can be seen as a manifestation of their sadness and sorrow. It signifies their longing for what was their attachment to the past, and their inability to let go. This ritualistic behavior highlights the depth of our sorrow and how it consumes our thoughts and action. Hafez then poses a question. What is the beginning of happiness? His response is illuminating. In order to find happiness, one must stop being so religious like in their devotion to the past. Here, being so religious can be understood as being excessively fixated on the past, almost worshipping it, and allowing it to dictate their present and future. To Hafez, the key to happiness lies in letting go of the past and its hold over us. It involves breaking free from the confines of nostalgia and embracing the present moment. By detaching ourselves from the shrine of the past, we can open ourselves up to new experience, relationships, and opportunities that may bring us joy. It is a call to let go of the past, embrace the now, and find contentment in the journey of life. Through his poetry, Hafez offers insights into the mystical journey of the soul, highlighting the challenges, trials, and joys that one encounters on the path to spiritual awakening. He emphasizes the importance of self-awareness, love and devotion in the pursuit of divine union. Hafez's verses guide readers to look beyond the surface of reality and delve into the mystical depths of existence. Hafez's poetic language and imagery often transcend the boundaries of conventional understanding, inviting readers to embrace the mysteries of the universe and explore the interconnectedness of all things. His words have the power to transport readers into a state of spiritual ecstasy, where the boundaries of self dissolve and the soul merges with the divine. Be yourself are your own obstacle. Rise above yourself. Hafez Our own limitations, fears, and attachments prevent us from reaching a higher state of consciousness. To overcome these obstacles, we must transcend our ego and rise above our limited perceptions and desires. One example of this can be seen in the practice of meditation. When we sit in stillness, observing our thoughts and emotions, we often encounter inner resistance. Our minds wander, distractions arise, and we may find it challenging to let go of our attachment to external conditions. However, by acknowledging and releasing these hindrances, 
we can gradually rise above ourselves and experience a greater sense of inner peace and clarity. Often, we set limitations on our ability and potential due to self-doubt or fear of failure. These self-imposed barriers restrict our growth and prevent us from fully realizing our true potential. However, when we confront and overcome these limiting beliefs, we can break free from the constraints we place on ourselves and ascend to new heights. Furthermore, in our relationships with others, our egos often create obstacles that hinder our spiritual progress. When we hold on to grudges, judgments, or expectations, we create a separation between ourselves and others. By cultivating forgiveness, compassion, and acceptance, we can transcend these barriers and experience deeper connections and unity with those around us. I have learned so much from God that I can no longer call myself a Christian, a Hindu, a Muslim, a Buddhist, a Jew. The truth has shared so much of itself with me that I can no longer call myself a man, a woman, an angel, or even a pure soul. Love has befriended me so completely it has turned to ash and freed me of every concept and image my mind has ever known. Hafez His understanding and connection with God have grown so deep that he can no longer confine himself to a particular religious affiliation. He has surpassed the boundaries of organized religion to embrace a more universal and inclusive perspective. It signifies a shift from the external labels and rituals of religious dogma to a more personal and direct experience of the divine. Hafez expresses a spiritual awakening and the transcendence of religious, gender, and identity labels. He recognizes the universality of divine wisdom and love. Hafez's words go beyond religious labels to challenge the limitations of human identity. He states that the truth, or the divine essence, has revealed itself to him to such an extent that he can no longer identify with any specific gender, form, or even spiritual identity. He has surpassed the confines of being a man, a woman, or even an angel, suggesting a dissolution of individual ego and a merging with the divine. Love has embraced him so completely that it has burned away all preconceived notions, concepts, and images held in his mind. This suggests a liberation from attachment and a surrender to a state of pure being, beyond the limitations of the mind and its constructs. Do not surrender your grief so quickly. Let it cut more deeply. Let it ferment and season you, as few human or divine ingredients can. Something is missing in my heart tonight that has made my eyes so soft, my voice so tender, and my need of God so absolutely clear. Hafez encourages not to rush through the process of grieving. He advises us to allow our grief to penetrate deeply, to let it take its time to fully affect and transform them. Hafez suggests that grief, when embraced and experienced fully, has the potential to enrich one's soul in a way that few other experiences can. Grief has the power to mature and refine a person, just like the fermentation process in making wine. Let's think of a person going through a difficult breakup. Rather than suppressing their emotions and rushing into a new relationship, Hafez advises them to let their grief ferment and season them. By allowing themselves to fully experience the heartache, they can learn valuable lessons about themselves, relationships, and personal growth. Just as the flavors of a wine mature and develop over time, their grief can lead to a deeper understanding of themselves and their experience. Hafez then expresses a feeling of emptiness within his heart which leads to his eyes becoming soft and his voice tender. This vulnerability and sensitivity, brought about by his grief, make him more receptive to the divine presence. He states that his need for God has become absolutely clear, indicating that grief has deepened his spiritual connection. A person who has faced a significant life challenge, such as a serious illness, through this experience, they have confronted their mortality and felt a deep sense of loss. This profound grief and realization of their own vulnerability have made their eyes soft and their voice tender. In turn, their need for a spiritual connection and reliance on God becomes absolute and clear. While both Hafez and Rumi lived in different time periods and had their unique styles, both Hafez and Rumi share a deep connection through their love for mystical poetry and their profound impact on Persian literature and Sufi philosophy. Their poetry reflects the Sufi ideals of love devotion, and the longing for spiritual union. Rumi's poetry often takes a broader, universal perspective, emphasizing the unity of all beings and the interconnectedness of humanity. His verses seek to dissolve the boundaries of self and embrace the divine presence within all aspects of existence. 
On the other hand, Hafez's poetry exhibits a more intimate and personal approach to mysticism. His verses explore the depths of the individual soul, delving into themes of love, longing, and the search for truth. Hafez, deeply inspired by Rumi, incorporated elements of Rumi's mystical teachings and poetic techniques into his own poetry. Hafez often referenced Rumi in his verses, expressing his admiration for the older poet's wisdom and insight. In general, the renowned Persian poet of the 14th century, Hafez, played a significant role in Sufi mysticism. Hafez's poetry serves as a testament to the enduring nature of human emotions and the pursuit of spiritual awakening. His words have the ability to transcend time and cultural borders, touching the hearts of many people across centuries. Hafez's most famous collection, Devani Hafez, is a compilation of his ghazals and other poetic forms. This anthology contains the essence of Hafez's poetic genius, showcasing his mastery of language and his ability to convey complex emotions and spiritual truths. Hafez offers insights into the mystical journey of the soul, highlighting the challenges, trials, and joys that one encounters on the path to spiritual awakening.